G'day and welcome to Small Steps Through Life. Today we're at Paikokoriki Beach and the topic, the topic is one, it's all about our self-worth, our self-view. In many ways we define ourselves by how other people perceive us, by how other people give us value. An example of this is when we meet people, usually the first thing we say is, Hi, I'm such and such, and what I do is, as in, Hi, I'm Bob the Grocer. Or we might do it by, Hi, I'm such and such's husband or wife. Which is all very well, but it means that our definition of our value is defined by others, by how they perceive us. Which means, if we're made redundant, what happens to our self-worth? It plummets. It's really hard when we perceive ourselves as being a role, and that role just disappears. It's not very good at all. So that happens with work, it happens with relationships. Hang, it even happens with our bank balance. But what if instead of that, we looked at it differently? What if we defined ourselves and our inherent value by something that we control? So I've seen this before, and I think it's pretty good, and that is to choose things that we are in control of, things that we value. So one of them I've seen, and I think it's very good, is to define ourselves by who we love. Not by who loves us, but by who we love. Because if we define ourselves by who loves us, if somebody chooses not to love us, then we're their definition. But if we choose to define ourselves by who we love, we control it. We control not only who we love, but how we express that love. It's pretty, I think it's very powerful. It also inspires us, if it's something that we value, to put more effort into it. In other words, be more amazing at it. In other words, be somebody that expresses love even better because it's part of our self-definition. Otherwise, we could do it. We could, we could do it by the work we do, as in what we offer people. In other words, service to others or service, well, to self. But we decide what part of that we value. So in a religious or church context it might be that we are the person who offers to do the menial tasks that are needed like mowing a lawn or cleaning the building. We could, in a relationship, be doing it by choosing to make our value by showing our love, showing our support, showing our encouragement of the other person or other people. It means that rather than us being vulnerable to our definition, being controlled by other people, We've moved it to being responsible for ourselves, but more than that, we get an opportunity to work, work harder and increase our self-view. In other words, we can actually work and increase the value we see in ourselves. And it's in things that matter to us because we chose it. 
it would be kind of crazy of us to choose to say, I am going to do my, the measure of my value by how many press ups I could do if I don't like and I don't see any value in them. In other words, choose something that matters to you and make that your definition. So, from me to you, define yourself by something that matters to you. That way, whether you've got a job or not, your definition doesn't substantially change. As well as that, you can grow your own self-value, your own self-view. That's kind of the idea of this whole podcast, is seeing how amazing you can encourage yourself to be by taking more steps and small steps in life to find that amazingness that is within you. And so, on that note, from me to you, see you later.